Yo, what is good? Welcome to Cine 230 Remix Cultures, the online version. I am the real Dr. Dre, DJ Food Stamp, or Andre. I'm here with Baby Zilla, Baby Z. What up, man? This is uh, our 13 week old livestock guardian dog puppy, man. So he's hanging out with me today down here at the bee yard at the homestead, and we're gonna talk about the syllabus for this class. Yeah, I was very excited about that. I know y'all aren't, but anyways, you're in an online version of this class, Cine 230, a 10 week version of it. Um, and I'm just gonna run through that, run through the syllabus, because you know what I'm saying? Like I expect y'all to read the syllabus, but I don't know if people listen to Snoop Dogg. Yo, syllabus. You gotta do it, you gotta read it. Um, you start off the syllabus, there's some stuff on the top, some quotes uh, from some great American tools, Thomas Jefferson and uh, Ben Franklin. I'll talk about the, the TJ quote before we, uh, you know, move into the film portion of, of today's class. But um, anyways, uh, yeah. So just so you know, check the syllabus. It lists my office hours, um, you know, and the best thing to do for office hours is you can literally come in in person or um, text me, call me during that time. You can also text or call me to set up an office hour um, outside of that range. I'm just not on campus a ton. So, you know, kind of bear with me on that. Um, but I got my phone number on there. My socials, DJ Food Stamp 33. You can check out my TikTok. It's popping. Um, not really. I never use it, but, you know, it's there. <laughs> um, all that stuff and then there's a little SoundCloud of some music I make and uh, or made and uh, a link tree to a whole bunch of other stuff that we do here but um, obviously this is an online class we're gonna use canvas a lot and that's actually how I'm gonna communicate with y'all so I'm gonna use canvas announcements that will then link to your email so <laughs> that's really important that you make sure you have notifications set up I won't bomb you with um, you know canvas announcements but I like the announcement feature because the email lives uh, on the canvas site you know on the home page so you know you can always refer back to that but I, I won't bother you all too much with with emails um, but if you got to email me uh, through the canvas app or through you know uh, Outlook or whatever you got my email um, just hit me up but make sure that you put Cine 230 in the subject header just because I teach a whole bunch of different classes have students in all different classes and I don't know who y'all are necessarily especially with an online class so just say what class you're in please um, do that I'm pretty responsive to emails um, I give you my cell phone number specifically for like office hours uh, type thing if you need to chat or like if you have like an emergency like whatever with a quiz or, or something like that or a question or, or whatever so um, so yeah this is an online class I hope you know <laughs> I hope you know this, that you signed up for an online class or registered for an online class. Um, and basically, you know, the deal is this, you know, we start with the academic term and y'all have to do two modules or two classes per week, at least, let me say at least, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can go ahead, you know, um, or go ahead. Like if y'all know you're going to take off for a week or two or, or something like that, or are going to have a busy week, go ahead and do, do the work. The thing is you can't get behind, Like you have to do you know, two modules per week, two quizzes, two responses, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so do not, do not get behind. I think that's the most important thing. Like this is, you know, you're responsible here. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't come and like wake you up for class or metaphorically fold your laundry or make your mac and cheese. Yes, and free your cheesy. You know, like you, y'all gotta be responsible for this uh, in this class. Just one thing to note, um, a lot of the videos that you'll be seeing, not this one, uh, were shot in spring 2020 out of necessity. Um, and you know what the necessity was. So uh, the problem was is a lot of those included things about exams or, you know, I'll see you next week or see you in a month, you know, and that, that never happened. Um, so ignore all the time-based stuff in any of the lecture videos. I'm reshooting them. Um, over time so that stuff will slowly go away but if you're looking for some covid pandemic lockdown nostalgia you'll get it through through the video so just note that the curriculum the content is pretty much spot on and i update that a little bit um, but any time-based things you know just ignore all that shit 
Um, again, check your syllabus for office hours. Note, I will do appointments. It's a little bit harder to do that in person for me, but if you want, you know, if we can set up a phone call or something, chat on the phone, that, that's gonna be, uh, you know, maybe the best way to go. Um, <clears throat> yeah, listen, listen, here's the deal. There's nothing more offensive than me reading a syllabus to you. Like, that's offensive. Y'all, y'all are grown ups, you know? Um, and so I shouldn't have to do that. Um, but, and I won't do that. So you can read the, you know, the catalog description, the course description. But this basically, the gist of it, this class is about ideas and owning ideas and controlling ideas. Um, and then, you know, remixing those ideas and what is what is a remix you know what you know is everything you know does a remix have to be something cool subcultural TikTok thing or something that exists like in an actual subculture somewhere or a fan culture or can it be what disney does which is all remixing um you know um you know what hollywood does what uh you know the music industry does what video games do you know what we do you know what inventions are etc so you know i think the main thing is though that um you may look at some of this stuff and you may be like wow this is gonna suck it's gonna be boring um which is possible um i love it i'm into it but the thing is 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 that you know, most of the economy in the United States and most of what we export is ideas in the form of movies and inventions and trademarked goods. How you doing, Zilla? Um, Etc. Most likely you'll find yourself in a job or a career where you're dealing with intellectual property law on some, some, some level, right? You're in the medical field patent you know you're in the content industries you know news magazine advertising video game music whatever you're dealing with copyright if you're in the business world in general you're dealing with 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 trademarks so you're gonna be dealing with all all this stuff and this class is really gonna look at like the fusion of what all happens when like the lawyers and legal culture and congress that sort of legal culture you know how they lay in bed let's just say with um you know, with uh, government, you know, let, you know, how government lays in bed with uh, corporations, multimedia, you know, multinational media companies, uh, multinational pharmaceutical companies, multinational clothing brands, etc. sneaker, he you know, sneaker brands, all that stuff. Um, and we'll kind of look at then how, you know, the corporate culture and the legal culture then collides with consumer culture or us, you know, popular culture, folk culture, subcultures, and what all happens and how we use stuff and subvert the laws and how we undermine the intents of technology and all that stuff to do what we want with it. All right. That's the gist of the class. But the, 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 the real deal is y'all are going to run into this stuff at some point. It's pretty handy dandy to know a little bit about all this stuff. So you can read. Y'all are grown. You can read. I don't read slides to students. I don't read the syllabus to students. Y'all can read it yourself. You should read it yourself. So, expected learning outcomes. Guess what? You're going to learn some shit. <laughs> Straight up. I don't know. Read through them. There's, uh, you know, learning uh, outcomes for every module so you can see what you're going to learn that day. Um, but, yeah, you're going to learn stuff. Uh, if you do the lecture videos and, and you, know, you complete the, the, the course materials, you're going you're gonna to do great. I think the main thing, though, to think about is that this class is not a law class. Um, it's a legal culture class and what i mean by that is you know um you know corporate law law you know as as we see it you know it infiltrates society right we abide by it but we also you know break the law and all of y'all break the law when it comes to ideas without even knowing it right and most of y'all probably aren't out like you know robbing banks you know and doing dirt out on the streets and stuff like that um <clears throat> you know but you know, you are probably a copyright criminal. You've probably violated trademark multiple times, um, et cetera. You know, and, and you don't even know, and, and maybe it doesn't even, it doesn't even matter. Um, but the thing is this, this is not a law class. I don't ask you to, you know, memorize case law, memorize court cases and stuff like that. I give examples and I want you to think about them. But I think the most important thing is, you know, so much of, um, the information 
and the value in this course is going to come from the lecture videos. Looking at the slides is not going to help you. I make provide the slides obviously, but I make the slides for me to uh, keep me focused, you know what I mean, or else I'll just freestyle to oblivion. So um, do note that watching the lecture videos, even if you speed me up 40% or whatever, um, you know, that's, that's going to be your best bet to success in, in this class and take some notes here. Okay.